Hi everyone, this is Linda, and I haven't done a video for a while, so I thought I would try this. Um, there's always lots of questions about doing um, saving as a .vp4 versus exporting as a .vp4 or a .vp3. So I thought I'd do a quick little video. So let's learn a little bit about what the difference is in saving as a .vp4 or exporting as a .vp4. But also you can export as a .vp4 or a .vp3 with options or without options chosen. So I did this filming film using MySonet Platinum, but it applies to all versions of MySonet. Should also be for Premiere Plus and Premiere Plus 2. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is just kind of demo the difference between VP3, VP4, export, and versus save. Um, everybody gets this kind of confused, and why would I do one versus the other? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to find a little design here, and I don't care. We'll pick on the um, thimble. That'll work fine. I'm going to do apply. I'm going to go to Encore, and I'm going to set this up so I have a bunch of repeats. It's going to be fine. And I'm going to apply. And I'm going to go to the letter tab and I'm just going to create a, a little words here. And I'm going to just add that in here in the center. So now I have this. Now, if you notice, this actually has orange boxes. If I reveal my groups, each individual one of these has actually got green boxes. My words have green boxes, and those green boxes allow me to do a couple of different things. But what's really important is when you go to export and when you go to save. So we're going to go in, and I'm going to do a save as. And I'm just going to go, and I'm going to save this, and I'm going to go um, sewing. I'm going to just call this number one, just so we can kind of see what the differences are. So I'm going to do sewing, and then I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to take this, and now I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to save this as a VP4, and I'm going to uncheck everything here, and I'm going to do OK. And I'm going to go sewing, and of course it always adds that exported onto the end when you do the export, VP4. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to do a save as. This time I want it to be a VP3, and I'm going to uncheck all these things because this isn't going to make any difference, but I'm going to make it a VP3. And I'm going to do sewing exported. And I'm going to call this number three. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to export again. Export, leave it as VP3 with all of those things combined. Okay, sewing, exported, and I'm going to make this number four. Okay, so, okay, so I'm going to bring in the four designs. I'm going to go to a little bit larger hoop because this one's not quite large enough. So I'm going to go 240 and I'm going to go bump to the 260 by 200 just so I know I've got enough room. So I'm going to do the insert of each of the designs. So this is the very first one we did. So I'm going to grab that one and I'm going to do open. And that's the one that we did the save as so that it would save things as a VP4 and it only allows me to save it as a VP4. So now I'm going to bring in my second one. And this one is where I exported it with the... Um, nothing selected and I made it a VP4. Now I'm going to grab the next one and I'm going to grab this one. This was the one that we did the export as a VP3 with nothing selected. So we didn't combine it, we didn't color sort it, we didn't do anything like that. So now I'm going to grab the fourth one which basically has everything combined and all of those things. So it, I'm going to move these around here. So this is the very, very first one. And these two are very similar in a lot of ways. This one was done as a save. Where's my mouse? This one was done just as a regular save. This one was done as an export as a VP4 with nothing selected. So that's a really important difference um, in ver this one versus this one. So um, 
I'm going to go in and I'm going to take and I want to take right mouse and I'm going to do um, ungroup. So I have this one all as individual pieces. Remember the orange means it's a group. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to grab each one of these. What this allows me to do is I can actually do a right mouse and I can choose all these different things to change that. I can fix it as stitches. I can change the satin column on it. Of course, this particular one doesn't have a whole lot of satin in it. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this. So I'm going to do a right mouse again and I'm going to Oh, I'm, I'm going to grab the pattern fill and I don't care which pattern fill I pick on pattern fill one and I'm going to change that so it should be pretty obvious what changed and I think it's this part up here see the difference between this one and this one so it allows me to change different things right mouse I'm going to go grab pattern fill I'm going to pick on pattern number two and I'm just going to change it to more of a satiny just so that it kind of is a little bit obvious see and that's this right here now I can also I'm going to grab that again and I'm going to do pattern fill and I'm going to pick on pattern number two and I'm going to rotate it a little bit and I'm going to make it a 90 so that it goes up and down. Actually, it goes sideways. See how it's going sideways? If I do a right mouse again, pattern fill two and I do um, 45, it kind of puts it this way. So that's the difference. This one allows me to do all kinds of things. I can also do a right mouse here and I can do edit lettering and I can actually change it to a totally different font if I want to. I'm just gonna make it a little line one so that it shows a little bit more. So that's that. Okay, this one, remember when we did the, we did an export, we did it as a VP4 and we didn't have anything checked along there. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do ungroup. So nothing is grouped. And now I still get those same options as I had before, but I had nothing selected and I exported it as a VP4. So I can still change all those things just like I did before. So let's go down here and off to the left here. This one, when I exported this one, I allowed it to be combined and color sorted and those kinds of things. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do ungroup. But if you notice, these now have white boxes around them. I can't change anything about them, but it's been combined and color sorted and those kinds of things. So that's kind of the difference. Even though I exported it as a VP4, what it did is it ignored the fact that it, we wanted as a VP4. Unlike with these, where this one we did a save as a VP4, because that's the only option you have. This one we exported as a VP4, but removed all the combined color sort and all those kinds of things. And then this one is the one that had everything selected. It doesn't let me do anything. So that's kind of the difference between each of the ways you can separate your designs. Um, it's really important that you know those things because I've heard people actually go and do an export as a VP4, but they forget to uncheck all of those. When I go in here and I'm going to do an export here, I'll show you it again. I forget to check and uncheck any of these in order to get that real VP4 format that we did when we do reset when we do a save as. I hope that helps.